boxers fighting without a contract. It can't happen. The Boxing Board of Control cannot allow a boxer to fight without a contract. The manager to that boxer cannot allow his boxer to fight without a contract. So whoever raised those issues of fighting, fighting without a, a contract, he's got malice on his shoulders. He's got malice. He's raising issues for his own purpose, but it won't take him or take her anywhere. We are a very, very transparent profession of promoters. I've got a license with World Boxing Council. I've got a license with ABU. I've got a license with WBA. I've got a license with WBO. So I know the norms and standards. And we are very, very grateful to the Boxing Board of Control. I'll tell you the, the simple process, what happens with the, the contractor boxer about. Eh? First of all, that boxer before he, he fights, or that has to be registered with the Boxing Board of Control. <coughs> Annually, his license has to be renewed. Then secondly, each fight, the boxer has to go for medical checkup, where the blood tests, before we even sign the contract, blood tests are taken, physical exams are done on the board of that struck boxer. Then the boxing board, once they see that this boxer is physically fit, they inform us that that boxer now you can go ahead and contract them for that particular fight. You understand? Then from there, the terms and conditions which are agreed by both parties in the contract. We don't discuss with boxers direct. We discuss with the, their managers. Then they are issued. For example, you are fighting for 1,000. You are fighting for 500. You are fighting for 2,000. It will indicate there, you understand, when the board comes you, we we deposit that money. If it's 5,000 in the contract, we deposit with the boxing board of control. The boxing board of control get possession of all the contracts and the money for the boxers. And they keep until the day of the fight. A promoter or a manager does not pay the boxer. The boxer is paid by who? Who pays the boxer? The boards. If I lie, Gracious is there. The, if we have any other boxer here, the board pays. And what happens? The board deducts 2% of benevolent fund from that as pay law. So if me and myself, I'm fighting and I'm signing for money because they sign on top of the contract. Why am I signing on top of the contract which I did not sign? Because the board can't pay you without you telling you, they will call you, oh, we are paying now Mr. Chris Malunga, Mr. Chris Malunga, you signed a contract worth 5,000 kwacha, and you fought, you have fought, we are taking out benevolent fund from this contract as my contract, and we are paying you the difference, which is this. And then your manager will take this, your coach will take this, you understand? So that process, if you see that there's something wrong, you raise it, that I never signed a contract. Even how do you go into a fight, you jump into the ring? There's no contract, is that normal? So that person who raised all those issues is just about malice. That tournament was fantastic.